The Battle of Aldenhoven or Battle of the Roar saw a Republican French army commanded by Jean-Baptiste Jordan attack a Habsburg Austrian army under François Sébastien Charles Joseph de Croix, Count of Clerfait which was defending the line of the Roar River. The key crossing was won by the French right wing at Durin after heavy fighting. The Austrian retreat from the Roar conceded control of the west bank of the Rhine River to France. The battle occurred during the War of the First Coalition, part of a wider conflict called the Wars of the French Revolution. Aldenhoven is located in the state of North Rhine-Westphalia in Germany about 21 kilometers 13 miles northeast of Aachen. After the Battle of Fleurus on 26 June 1794, the army of Austria began pulling back to the east while their British and Dutch allies withdrew to the north to defend Holland. There was a lull as the French armies paused to capture a number of fortresses held by the coalition. Then, as Jean Charles Pichegru's army of the north prepared to overrun the Dutch Republic, Jordan's army of Sambra et Meuse turned northeast to drive the Austrians back to the Rhine, first winning the Battle of Spryment in September. On 2 October, Jordan launched attacks at Duren on the right, Aldenhoven and Julich on the right centre, Linich on the left centre and Raytheim on the left. After its victory, the army of Sambra et Meuse captured Cologne and Bonn on the Rhine. <laughs> <laughs> Battle At the end of September 1794, Jean-Baptiste Jordan's left wing was posted at Heinsberg. Jean-Baptiste Clabert was there leading the divisions of Louis Friant, Joseph Léonard Richard and Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte. Altogether, the army of Sambra et Meuse had 99,000 troops deployed between Heinsberg and its right wing at Eschweiler, both places slightly west of the Rohr River. The right wing under Barthélemy Louis Joseph Scherrer included the divisions of François Severin Marceau Desgraviers, Jean Adam Mayer, and Honoré Alexander Hawking. Before deciding to attack, Jordan carried out reconnaissances of the Austrian positions which were made stronger by high water in the river. François Sébastien Charles Joseph de Croix, Count of Clerfait's 76,000 strong Austrian army strengthened its positions by destroying the bridges and digging up the fords. Clerfait's army was deployed behind the steep banked Rohr with its left flank at Duren and its right flank at Rohrmund. However, the Austrian commander placed the bulk of his forces between Duren and Linich, with an advanced west bank position at Aldenhoven in front of his centre at Julich. The extreme right was in tenuous communication with the army of Prince Frederick, Duke of York and Albany near Grave. The positions around Aldenhoven were entrenched as were other portions of the line. On 1 October 1794, General of Division Jordan ordered Scherar and the right wing to seize Duren. In the centre, Jordan directed Jacques Maurice Hatchery to take Altorp, Antoine Morlot and Jean Etienne Championnet to capture Aldenhoven and cross the river at Julich, while Francois Joseph Lefebvre occupied Linich. Meanwhile, Clabert and the left wing were instructed to move upstream from a position opposite Rohrmund and cross the Rohr at Raytheim near Huckelhoven. The army of Sambra et Meuse numbered about 100,000 troops, the largest French army yet assembled in the war. The French were on the road on the morning of 2 October and only came into action near midday. <laughs> <laughs> Notes <laughs>